In the last day, there's been a lot of leaks and a lot of new information about the upcoming Toyota Land Cruiser. So let's dig in. There's some really great spy photography and videos I'm gonna show you in a second, but on this Russian website, which I won't even try to pronounce, they have got some renders of what looks to be very, very close to what the new Land Cruiser is going to look like. So this is definitely chunkier looking than the current Land Cruiser, which has been out since about 2008 in the US. I think it debuted as a 2007, uh, debuted in 2007. So we got something that is a lot more chunky, a lot more modern looking. We've got these LED uh, lights over here. They're kind of kind of looking a little bit like the Lexus style of the L. Uh, we've got a very prominent grill, which gives it a much more truck-like appearance, I think, actually. Um, they're going with a real vertical kind of look, very similar to what the domestic trucks here are doing. We've got a very big grill. It has horizontal slats instead of vertical. It doesn't really have the waterfall type thing that a lot of Toyota stuff is doing. It looks like we got some triple beam LEDs and some fairly aggressive fenders. This is a pretty big looking vehicle. Let's scroll down to look at the back of the thing here. So looks quite modern, looks a lot more updated, a lot more stylized. They're not breaking any styling ground with this, but it definitely looks a lot more uh, futuristic, I guess I could say, than the current ones, which are looking a little bit dated. So this, of course, is going to be a body on frame type design. And let's talk about the engine here, because that is a pretty big deal. So. We've got a turbo six engine that is almost certainly going to replace the current V8, the outgoing V8. The V8 has been around for a long time and you know, at 14 miles per gallon, even with relatively inexpensive gas, it I think was depressing the sales, at least in the US to some degree, not the biggest seller at Toyota. 14 miles a gallon isn't that great, but now that we're dealing with gas prices that are, depending on the state that you're in, here in California, I've seen uh, in fact, I recently paid over $4 a gallon. I've seen $5 a gallon for premium, very expensive. I don't think the V8 is going to be around for much longer. So we do have what is probably going to be a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo as the top level engine. So you just saw the render. Here are some real photos from, I guess, pretty recently, just a couple days ago. They're clearly on a uh, a tractor trailer going somewhere. Not exactly sure what country this is in, but a lot of these photos are coming from the Middle East. I'm not sure where this is coming from because this is this Russian website that, again, I'm not gonna try to pronounce. Here you can see some more pretty good shots of the whole thing. It's definitely got this very distinctive rear window kind of kink over here too, coming down from the roof line too pretty upright rear and the thing is going to be a ton of space in this. This is a pretty big SUV. You've got some uh, side runners here too to get in. The mirrors are on the doors over here too and not a lot of different color treatments here. Looks like we got black and white in this particular image. So here's a pretty good video from uh, this Instagram account, uh, Show Me Granville. He looks like he's from the Middle East. Um, and I'm not exactly sure where this video is from, if this is from a production facility in a Toyota in Japan, it could be from there. Uh, you can see these things are looking to be, you know, pretty close to getting shipped out the door. These are, these are what looks to be full on production vehicles at this point. So this is coming very, very soon. I think we're gonna see this um, probably in the Middle East and possibly in Australia within the next I would say a couple of weeks, maybe a month, something like that. These are looking very, very close. I don't have any timelines again uh, on these. Let me show you another one that I found. Okay, this is from Kurdistan Automotive Blog. This also looks like uh, some, perhaps a production facility, perhaps in Japan. I just saw on that on-ramp, or rather that ramp above the uh, these vehicles that uh, vehicles are driving on the left side of the road. So that probably is going to be in Japan is my guess. Also from Kurdistan Automotive Blog, you can see uh, another video with some labels on here. Uh, these are clearly production vehicles. Uh, you can see what this thing really looks like. So this is definitely getting ready to ship. Let me do that. No. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the design and style of this. I'm gonna show you something from the interior in just a second, but let's talk about the engine. So on this Russian website, they are talking about a three and a half liter 
petrol gas bi turbo six with a capacity of 420 horsepower or a 3.3 liter turbo diesel with 309 horsepower and a 10 speed automatic transmission with a forced interaxle differential lock. So they're talking about a, a center locking diff. So what could this three and a half liter engine be? Well, if we go over to the Lexus website, we can see here that the current 2021 Lexus LS 500 has the V35A FTS. It's a dual overhead cam, 24 valves, of course, and it makes 416 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 442 pound-feet of torque. So Lexus already has this engine ready to go. It's in place. So this seems like a very likely engine that is going to end up in the Land Cruiser. So they got some detail on what they claim on this website. This looks to be leaked stuff on the interior. Uh, it's sort of difficult to discern exactly what's going on here, but over here looks like we have a center locker. Uh, we have the different drive modes that you can uh, use. None of this is a huge big surprise. If we're looking at a body on frame all wheel drive vehicle, I would expect a center locker and a rear locker. And I would also expect some type of crawl modes as well too with this vehicle. Now, as for the interior, we got some more spy photos from the same Russian website. They're actually not up anymore on the Russian website, but I found them on Gear Patrol over here. You can see this is a much more updated, much more modern looking cabin than what we get currently. We've got what looks to be probably a 12.3 inch display or so. That's what Toyota uh, Lexus has been going with lately for their big displays. Uh, looks like we got some conventional switch gear here too. So instead of having uh, the capacitive touch stuff, which Lexus uh, Toyota has been using lately, which frankly I hate. I don't think it's very good. I like to see traditional conventional buttons. Looks like we get that. So our wish has been granted if you like physical buttons and I certainly do. Um, so we got some drive modes down here too, and so lots of physical buttons. Looks like we got some radio controls. Uh, we got some HVAC controls here too. So that's uh, looking looking pretty good. Here is a close up of those buttons. So we can looks like we got some heated seats. We have uh, again a heated steering wheel. Uh, very. It looks like this is very very easy to use, and I would imagine the screen is going to be a touch screen as well. This looks very much like the traditional. Toyota interface that we get right now with their uh, with their touchscreens. They got something from the center display in front of the driver too. Take that as you will. There's another website over here called uh, kakaku.com. It's a Japanese rumor will mill website and this website claims that uh, we're going to see a three and a half liter twin turbo which makes sense and the 3.3 liter twin turbo diesel as well so looks like we've got a couple different sources i'm not exactly sure who is referencing who here um, but apparently this uh, from this website here it looks like uh, this is coming from some sort of uh, a dealer i think where this person saw it at a dealer mr uh, murder inc over here and he talked about the different grades the grs grade five-seater gasoline and a seven-seater diesel car price is uh, just under 10 million that's yen. That's somewhere around 90, 91,000 US dollars, which uh, that makes sense. It's getting pretty expensive. Are we going to get this in North America? Well, initially, it doesn't look like it is going to come to North America. The Land Cruiser is basically done at this point. Although, if you want to get the Land Cruiser, you can probably get yourself into a Lexus LX 570 is the closest replacement. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, don't know how long that's going to be around either in North America. So over here at Motor One, this is not the newest bit of news. This is from January, but they claim that the new uh, Land Cruiser could offer three V6 engines, one being a hybrid. That makes a lot of sense because Toyota is really big on hybrids. And they're saying it might arrive in North America after going on sale in other markets, though. Uh, this is Their source is auto weak on this. But they're also saying that this new info suggests that the new one might not be on sale in America for a couple of years. So the LQ could be done 
it looks like Lexus is bringing in this LQ, which is their new flagship, and it's super sleek. I think I did a video on this a little while ago. It's got the classic Lexus spindle grill. Going to have some different engine options, including hybrids. So this might be the replacement for the LX. It's kind of hard to say. Anyways, if you want a Land Cruiser in North America, Mm, looks like you might be out of luck at the current time. Go get one at your dealer right now or get an LX Lexus right now as a replacement. Let me know down below in the comments, are you bummed that we can't get the Land Cruiser in North America anymore? And also let me know what you think of this incoming LQ platform. My name is Eric. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give this a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.